An iconic Minneapolis site is on the verge of a resurrection. The Prospect Park Water Tower, better known as the Witch's Hat, is a landmark on the National Register of Historic Places. But it's been closed to the public since 2019, and Fox 9's Corin Hoggard has an inside look at the progress on a plan for now reopening. From inside the green-tiled witch's hat, the views are immaculate. Downtown Minneapolis to the west, downtown St. Paul to the east, and a vast horizon in every direction. The 110-year-old former water tower is built on the highest natural hill in Minneapolis, and it has a habit of brightening moods. And they get a smile on their face like this. Every one of them. Everybody. And uh, that's fun watching. Uh. Legend has it Bob Dylan wrote all along the watchtower here in the 1960s, but there's been no reason to get excited for the last four years. The tower had about 8,000 visitors during the two-day 2019 Open Doors Minneapolis event, but one of the 117 steps gave way. Two locks and a little graffiti now greet people at the entrance at the top of the hill. But neighbors say they've been through this before, and this is not their fate. This is a symbol of the neighborhood. I mean, it is as simple as that. Members of the Friends of Tower Hill Park group say there must be some kind of way out of here. They've pushed for a fix, and the city recently got estimates for three options. $50,000 to basically just keep it standing, $350,000 to update it enough for special public events, and $1.3 million for renovation worthy of regular visitors. The goal has always been, how do we reopen it? How do we make sure the structure is safe uh, for, you know, uh, multiple um, opening days, um, you know, throughout the week? Ward 2 Councilmember Robin Wansley would rather see the tower open more often, but her office is examining the costs of maintenance and security. Neighbors say there will be no shortage of people offering free labor. If they get the funds to open it up, uh, I'm sure we can get the volunteers. Within weeks, city staffers plan to have an agreement with the neighborhood group on how to divide responsibilities. A timeline for repairs is further down the road, but surely close enough to see from the top of the tower. Corn Hoggard, Fox 9.